why do researchers keep talking about theory? I mean, can't we just collect data, analyze it, and tell the story as it is? I am Abbas Isiaka, and I'm your host here at Academic Village, where we simplify complex research concepts and help you thrive in academia. Whether you name it or not, theory is always shaping your research, from the questions you ask to what you count as data. Take, for instance, say you're watching how people behave in traffic, or you want to understand how people behave in traffic. Are you going to be relying on official statistics, interview drivers, or you're going to sit at the top of a skyscraper, fly a drone to record people from above? Or are you going to observe how drivers actually queue, respond to traffic lights, emergency vehicles, or cross roads? So each of these choices comes with a theory. So it's whether you are aiming to establish social facts about people's behaviors, about drivers' behaviors, or you're trying to understand the meanings, or just want to describe or pay attention to the everyday order of things or social interaction, it seems like you can't escape theory. Even if you say, oh, you're just describing what people say, you will certainly make assumptions about perceptions, meanings, concepts, or even experiences. So that's theory, even though it's unnamed. So again, theory isn't just some academic window dressing. It's intelligent and it helps you define what counts as fact through um, explanation of a phenomenon, a logical explanation of a phenomenon, and also help you understand the assumptions behind those facts. And yes, people sometimes tag their research with some fancy labels to sound credible, say phenomenology or say grounded theory. But theory isn't just a badge or something like that. It's the lens that you use to make sense of messy data, of the literature review, of the debates in, in academia. Also, bear in mind that theories are not irrefutable truths in themselves. They are just some bunch of you know, explanations to begin with, but it can help you ask better questions, um, explain why something matters. So the real question is which theory gives you clarity on what you are trying to understand? Why not follow Academic Village for more research tips? I will see you on the flip side. Thank you.